Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create an expense tracker application using Vue.js, specifically leveraging its latest version, Vue 3, and the beloved Composition API. We'll be integrating it with a Google spreadsheet to serve as the backend, with Google Apps Script as the server-side language. It's a relatively compact project, making it quite straightforward to follow along and grasp. So let's dive in and explore how it functions. First off, the application showcases essential financial data, such as your current balance, income and expenses, and transaction history. Let me show you the demo here. For instance, if we want to record expenses, we simply need to input a negative value. Now, let's take a closer look with the spreadsheet open. As you can observe, I've opened the application in another tab. Upon refreshing, it fetches records from the linked spreadsheet. Let's do one more entry. For example, upon entering a transaction like groceries for minus 200, it promptly logs the expense both within the application and the associated spreadsheet, maintaining consistency across platforms. The application then calculates other metrics to display in the UI. Moving on to the code files, let's provide a brief overview of each component's functionality. The UI is constructed primarily through the index.html file. The theming and styling are done using this CSS file. JSView.html file contains the JavaScript. The code in this file handles interactivity, event handling, and dynamic updates, ensuring a seamless user experience. To delve deeper into the workings of our application, let's explore the code base within the script editor. By examining the underlying structure, we can gain a clearer understanding of its functionality. Starting with an overview, here, on the top, I am importing Vue.js version 3, and then I am also importing another small library called Vue Toast Notification for raising toast messages. We have the main components structured as follows, title and balance. The application begins with a title followed by a balance section, which utilizes the total variable to display the current financial status. Income and expense card. This section utilizes the income and expenses properties to showcase the respective financial data. Form. The form for adding new transactions references the text and amount fields. Transaction list. The list of transactions is rendered dynamically using the transactions array. Each transaction object within the array contains properties such as text and amount. Delete functionality. Each transaction in the list includes a delete function, allowing users to remove entries as needed. Let's examine these elements in more detail by opening it in my Visual Studio Code editor. Within the code files, CSS, index.html, and JSView, we focus primarily on the JSView file and the index.html file. Here, we implement reactivity in Vue.js using the ref function, allowing variables such as text and amount to update dynamically. This is achieved through the vModel directive in the template, establishing two way data binding between the form inputs and the variables. Additionally, the transactions array is initialized as an empty array. Upon mounting the application, the fetch transactions function is triggered. This function utilizes the Google Apps Script client side JavaScript API to fetch transaction data from the server side method defined in the code.js file. In the code.js file, the fetch transactions method retrieves transaction data and converts it into a JSON array. 
Upon successful fetching, the retrieved data is assigned to the transactions array within the application. Subsequently, calculations are performed to compute the total, income, and expenses. These values are computed using the reduce method, filtering transactions based on their sign, positive for income, negative for expenses. Finally, the computed properties for total, income, and expenses are bound to the UI, ensuring real-time updates as transactions are added or removed. Let's delve into the functionality surrounding the addition of new transactions within our application. When a user submits the form to add a new transaction, the onSubmits method is called. This method first ensures that all fields are properly filled. If any fields are missing, an error message is raised, prompting the user to complete all required fields. Otherwise, the transaction data is constructed, including a randomly generated ID, and the addTransaction method is invoked. Within the code.js file, the addTransaction method is defined. This method utilizes the append row function to add the transaction data to the Google spreadsheet. Upon successful addition, a toast notification is raised, indicating that the form submission was successful. Subsequently, the form is cleared, ensuring a clean user interface, and the transactions array is updated to reflect the new transaction. This synchronization between the application and the Google spreadsheet ensures data consistency across both platforms. Moving on to the history section, transactions are displayed in a visually appealing format. By looping through the transactions array, each transaction is rendered with its corresponding amount formatted as currency. Depending on whether the transaction amount is positive or negative, Different CSS classes are applied to style the transactions accordingly. This visual distinction enhances user experience and aids in quickly identifying income and expenses. Moreover, each transaction entry includes a delete button, invoking the handle delete function upon interaction. Within the handle delete function, Transactions are filtered based on their ID to identify the transaction to be deleted. Subsequently, the corresponding row in the Google spreadsheet is deleted using the delete transaction method. By associating a row property with each transaction, the deletion process is streamlined, ensuring accurate removal of the desired transaction. Additionally, the TU currency method is employed to properly format currency values, enhancing readability across the application. To wrap up, let's touch on the final aspects of our project and provide some guidance on further learning and setup. This project, while relatively small, offers an excellent opportunity for learning, particularly for those interested in exploring VU3 and the Composition API in greater depth. For a more comprehensive understanding of these concepts, I highly recommend watching Brad's VIEW video tutorial, from which this expense tracker project was adapted. Brad's tutorial provides valuable insights into VIEW concepts. I have just taken his project and integrated it with Google Spreadsheets using Google Apps Script, demonstrating real-world application of these technologies. To facilitate your learning journey, I've included the link to Brad's video tutorial in the description. By following along with his tutorial, you'll gain a deeper understanding of Vue 3 and the intricacies of integrating it with external services like Google Spreadsheets. Now, let's discuss how you can set up the expense tracker for your own use. Simply follow these steps. Access the provided Google Spreadsheet link in the description and make a copy for yourself.
navigate to the Extensions menu and click on App Script. Click on the Deploy button and select New Deployment. Choose Web App as the deployment type and provide a description, like version 1. Select Execute as Me and choose the appropriate access level, anyone or only myself, based on your use case. Click Deploy. This process may take some time. Upon deployment, you'll be prompted to authorize the code. Grant all necessary permissions to ensure the proper functioning of the application. Once deployed, you'll receive a URL for your web app. You can now access and utilize the expense tracker. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing it with others. Until next time, happy coding.